y'all. Welcome to Quarantine Coastal Living. Quarantine Coastal Living Crafts. <laughs> That's right, we have a really fun kids corner to try from the comfort of your own home with stuff that you probably already have lying around. Like some bubbles, which we encourage you to get out and play with, but we're gonna give you a new way to use them. I have some acrylic paints here. You can try watercolors as well, but it seems as though we'll get a better color payoff with acrylic paint. And here you're looking at uh, sort of a finished product. We're making like these watercolor looking bubbles on a card. And it's a perfect card to go old school and maybe write like a sweet letter to mail to someone you love or even send to someone like in a senior living community. That's right. Yeah, to let them know that you're thinking of them. So this is actually really fun. As you can see, Kendall, uh, Kendall and I have made a little bit of a mess already. A little bit. Yeah. So we have these little cups here. And what we did is we took um, Probably about like 90% bubbles and a little dash of water just to make just it. Just a dash. If you yep. put oh, too much water, it won't work. Yeah, you're not going to get the bubbles if you put too much water. Then we put a little bit of each of these paints in here and stirred them vigorously. And this is every kid's dream because how many times have you told your kid at the restaurant to stop blowing bubbles in their drink? Now they get to do it with permission. Pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so to get started, uh, you know, we're very germ conscious right now. I'll be blowing the bubbles and Kendall will show you guys how to get the bubbles onto your paper. So here, um, you can use construction paper, but this is a little bit thicker. It's kind of like um, almost watercolor paper, craft paper. So I got this out of a, a binder that I had here at the house. So let's get started. You want to start with blue? Okay. So you just blow a big bubble like this. And Kendall is just going to capture some of those bubbles. Just like that. How cute. Okay, let's do some pink. There we go. So this you can layer as many times as you want. It's fun for the paint to drip. It looks really cool. I mean, this is also the beginning of just like any type of an art project. You can put your name on it and put it in their bedroom. So let's get a little more creative. Let's do more colors. Blue. Oh, yeah. So I think because we use acrylic paint, we're getting a much better color payoff versus watercolor, but you're still going to make it look really cool regardless. Mm -hmm. Let's get some more pink in there. Very cool. Ooh, that one was a good one. That was like very good. All right, let's get some Nice. Get and so, one. this works out really well. So then you just want to let the bubble sit, and at the end you'll end up with those little ring shapes the longer they sit. Then you can put it out in the sun to dry if you'd like, or just leave it out under a fan, give it some time, and then I grab my son's little crayon marker here, and then once it's dry, you can put a sweet message, like thinking of you, or you know something nice to grandma and grandpa, or maybe for a friend that they can't hang out with because of the situation we're in. So um, yeah, it's something fun where you can leave it at their doorstep, or send it through the mail, and it's just a fun way to interact with each other. Get your hands dirty, make a little mess, but have fun from the comfort of your own home. So that's our kids' corner. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let us know if you want to see anything else. We'll try it out. All right, guys. See you later. Bye.